Hi. Hi. So um, I know I recently spoke about my division acquiring, you know, the battery or producing the battery from your division. So I figure we would have a more formal meeting, just like our team and your team, to kind of just to uh, discuss the the parts that'll go into that, and you know, if it's even possible. I know mm -hmm. that our company LTech is, you know, ultimately driven by sales and profitability, and I think that we could come to some type of agreement where we can both come out successful on the other end. So, um, you know, I know that. Uh, you you guys took on this project three years ago, and, and it required a $12 million investment just to even get these batteries going. Um, and at that time, our division just wasn't ready to take on that project. However, um, since our division is the only division that is able to sell externally, I think we can definitely make a profit off of this. Um, and I think that if, you know, your team is okay with... Um, uh, giving us the right to produce the battery, I think it's a win-win for both of us. Um, mm -hmm. Is that something that your team would be um, looking forward to do, or um, you know? Um, so since we're both under LTech, I think it's best to think of it as a partnership. Different divisions, but under the same umbrella. So it's very important for us to both be profitable. And if this is a way to you know make profit for the company, then yes, of course, you know did take on um, this new development for Z25 three years ago. And we, you know, after everyone denied it, we decided to take it over. Um, and we did invest 12 million. So that's something that we want to make profit out of as well. And um, just moving forward to see what we could work on. Okay, great. Um, so um, I'm assuming that, you know, I had some analysts on our team draw up some possible outcomes. I'm sure that you're, you guys did the same in, in different yeah. scenarios. Um, ultimately, we both want to, to have a profit um, and bring success to the company. I mean, it'll make us both look good to up the to top management, you know? Yeah, we don't want to steer away from bringing this into top managing. I think we could come to, you know, a resolution just between us two and not, you know, bringing, bringing it up to top management. But yeah, um, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Great. So it seems like we're both, um, you know, um, looking to to come to some type of an agreement. So um, I think that we can start looking at, you know, um, obviously we're we're willing to pay a transfer price. We know that you guys put in the effort. Um, so that I think can be negotiated based on our actual terms. So um, you know, ideally we would like to produce the magnet ourselves, the okay. battery ourselves. And um, I think if we were able to produce it, you know, we can we can talk about other types of restrictions, like if you know we want to prohibit from your competitors or the company's yeah. competitors or certain time frames. So, um, you know, uh, uh, ideally we would like to produce it and have no limitations, but mm -hmm. we also want to be fair. We understand that your team was the one who invested heavily and and put in the time and effort. For this, so you know, we're willing to have some type of um, prohibited selling to direct yeah. investors yeah. for a limited time. We also want to hold recognition for the development of the product, and that's something that we're we want to stress as well. Um, okay. we put so much time and effort into it, so that's it's another thing that we have limitations on being recognized for the product itself. Um, as far as for um, I guess um, selling to like our direct competitors, we could work on a certain time frame, and then also money wise, how we split the profits. So, would you say that um, if we were to produce it, mm -hmm. um, and we would prohibit selling to your direct competitors for six months, do you think that's sufficient time? Six months. Mm. Because we, we expect this to be a two-year lifespan. Okay. So, um, I mean, so that that's where I'm, I'm looking at, six months. If, if you think that you need to go up to 12 months, I mean. 12 months. Is more reasonable. 12 months. Okay, so. Because yeah. you um, still have to take into account, like, six months is, is a really short time. And 
the logistics of producing the product and what we, you know, giving you the rights and also how we done it, it's going to take some time. So would you say like, uh, we would be able to produce the, uh, the Z25 and we'll prohibit selling to your direct competitors for 12 months. Yeah. We need at least a year. Okay. So, now, okay. So now in terms of the transfer price, so, um, I think we can uh, start off. My my, uh, I would like to start off at like twelve million. That's what I'd like to offer you because I know that's how much time and I had how much money it took for you to to actually develop the battery. Yes. Um. Are you guys okay like with that. the twelve? Well, that's just for the recovery for the twelve million that we helped develop for the product. So we're looking into more. So what if we double that? To twenty four. So doubling that and twelve months time frame from our competitors. Let's see. And that's from producing and also having the rights, correct? Yes. And, and we could always like, even though we're producing it, we can, you know, make it known that your team was the one who who had the idea. Like, you guys can have, um, you know, the recognition from top management as being the ones who produced it. Um, but we would just have the rights to to now produce the battery and, and, this is, and sell yeah. it. So, would this be a lifetime profit of twenty four million? For, for your team, yes. So no, I um, I mean, for your team, um, I mean, our lifetime profit is what our analysts discuss for our specific business. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, the transfer price we would would pay if we were to double that to twenty four million. I guess it's whatever your analyst um came up with. Uh, plus the 24 yes so is that something that you guys are comfortable with yeah I think that's something we could work on okay and we'll hold the recognition as well in a month of selling from our competitors yes okay All right, so we would produce the Z25. Um, we will not sell it to any of your direct competitors for 12 months, and given the lifetime um, cycle of this product is, is two years, that gives us one year to then just uh, uh, sell it to anybody, really. Mm -hmm. um, and in return, we'll also cover the $12, $12 million investment that it would cost you guys to produce it, as well as additional $12 million to um, transfer it over to our department. Yes. Okay. I think that's good. Yeah, I, I'm good with that. Awesome. So it was great speaking with you, um, and I'm glad we were able to figure this out. I think that top management will be extremely um, pleased with our result. I think in the long run, we both end up profiting. Yeah, I agree. Thank you so much. Um, for this agreement as well and I wish you all the best and we'll maintain communication. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks. No problem.